Hi, my name is Jay, I'm 18 years old, and I enjoy playing guitar and worshipping God. I also like surfing, mountain biking, skating, cricket, and pretty much anything else active. Each week, all around the world, many of God's people study a set portion of the Torah, which is the first five books of the Bible. This week, we will be reading from Deuteronomy 29 verse 9 to 30 verse 20. In this week's portion, Moses warns the Israelites that if they disobey God's instructions, they would be sent into exile. This means that they would be forced to move out of the land of Israel. Then, in Deuteronomy 29 verse 19, Moses gave them a warning that if there is a person who, when he hears the curses for disobeying God's instructions, thinks to himself, I'll be alright, I'll keep doing whatever I want, and it won't matter because everyone else around me is following God. Surely God won't get angry at everyone and send us into exile if only one person sins. Moses then said that if a person thinks about God like that and keeps sinning, then God will not forgive him, but bring every curse mentioned in the Torah on him, so that even his name will disappear. It sounds pretty harsh, but what Moses was saying was that even though the curses that Moses had been talking about were for the whole nation, if one person thinks he is safe to sin because he's the only one sinning, then that individual person will still receive the curses. I think this is a good reminder to us that even though we might be surrounded by people who are following God, he still cares about whether we are following him for ourselves. We aren't made right with God because the people around us follow him. We are made right with God because we have talked to him, acknowledged that our life is not lining up with his ways, and asked him to forgive us, and then changed the way that we live. So I'm going to leave you with a question. Are you following God for yourself, or are you just following the people around you?